Kaboom! What's up guys? Back with another video. We're going to be working with Flutter and Redux again. This time, we're going to be calling an API. YouTube API, you got GitHub API, and today we will be working with GitHub. With GitHub, you don't have to sign up for anything. You can just start using the API right away. All right, enough with the chit chat. Let's do this. All right, so first thing, so we just created a new file. And so we already did this before. We already created a Redux product. So let's just use the one we already created and add on to it, save us time. So go to my file here, Flutter Redux Easy. Got that link and go ahead and go to first pubspec.yaml because we're gonna import all the libraries right here. Just make our lives easier. Open up that file, boom, paste, save, let that load. And we need the main file as well. So let's click back, go to lib, main, just copy all of this and paste. Boom. Okay. No errors. Everything's good. And it's ready to go. Now we're ready to add on to it just like that. All right, let's fire up the emulator to make sure everything is working and also fire up the code. Workflow, you got the emulator over here. You got my code over here. And so now we're ready to go. Now let's check out that API. So I'm going to use the browser, new tab. So this is my, this is the API for Auto Kafka, me and my repos. Wow, look at all this data. So many repos. So you just change the name. You want to, let's say, for example, Tom. I don't know if that's a user, but let's try it. Yeah, Tom. Tom's a user and Tom has his stuff here. I don't even know who that is, but let's try Bob. Such common American names. Yeah, so whatever your name is, if you have a GitHub, just type in your username and you can see all your repos. I'm going to stick with me. So Auto Kafka and do me. Okay, now how can we access this data with Flutter? So this JSON file is huge. So we want to parse this in the background. And the Flutter team has already created this for us, like an example code base to use to get that JSON in the background. So we don't have to recreate the wheel. So let's just scroll down and grab this. By the way, this is in flood, flutterdev.cookbook. And it's always useful to get quick example codes. So let's copy that and let's paste it in somewhere down here under our, our main. Okay, so we have some new imports here. Let's bring those to the top. Paste them in, delete that one. And so there's, there's gonna be a new import, HTTP. I went ahead and already did it. You guys know the drill. So go ahead and paste that in and get the get that if you haven't. Simple as that. All right, let's check out that code that we just put in. So uh, command F in VS code, you can do the search box, click main and main again. There it is right here. So we don't want that. We already have a main a declared set, so we don't need that. And we need to change the name here as well. So. We don't need to call it my app. We can call it uh, GitHub uh, Home. Yeah, it's good enough. And basically, what we're going to do right now? Oh, my my Flutter just died. See that? Exited. All right, let's start it back up. Run and debug. Let that launch. Okay, while that's loading, I'm gonna go ahead and go up, copy this, and go up here. And we're going to just paste it in right here. Save name. We're not using that anymore. We already, you know how it works. Okay, so we're going to save. We're going to finish. Wait for this to load. And then I'm going to show you what's up. Guys, it loaded up and check it out. So it grabbed that JSON. It went to that API. API is right here. See, it's this API, the example API they gave us. You guys want to check it out, what it looks like. And so it's a bunch of um, album, ID, ID, title, URL, the mail. So just an example API. All right, guys, so let's do this then. Okay, so he, let's mark this up. This is the, here's the response that we get. 
and we want to take that response and print it out. I think it's dot body, right? Yeah, just the body of the response. Was that so? If you look down at the debug console, you'll see the response, right? We have our JSON, and that's in string format. We need to save this into shared preferences, just like we did with the other app, the other app we did, the first app. And so we did up here. We're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to go down here, and here we go. Paste that in. Now we're not going to. This not going to be called name. We're going to call it JSON, and we are going to put that right in here. And name it JSON. Okay. So that looks good. So save, and now we need to prepare Redux. Go up to Redux. Here you go. Reducer, action. Okay, state. This is what we need to play with. Add a model. And we need to make a new variable. We're going to call this JSON. And then I'm going to get rid of this required. It's bugging me. We don't need it right now. This.json. And here we're going to initialize it. JSON null. Okay, initialize it as null. Then you scroll down a bit, and so we created that git name action last time, but we're not going to get a name this time. We're going to get a JSON. So we're going to copy this class, and we're going to call it, rename it to JSON. Get JSON action. Okay, rename that. Okay, we're not dealing with names, and we don't have to make this a private variable. We can just call it a normal variable. See, boom, looks good, looks clean, we're done. Okay, we scroll down a bit more, we see get name action. Now that's get name action, we're not doing that, we're doing something else, so let's copy paste that, and let's call this get JSON action. All right, keep it simple. And it's not get name anymore, so we get, get JSON action, copy that, and we're not, getting the string, we're getting the JSON, right? So we should name this as JSON as well. And name this as JSON. Okay, so you see the flow here? See how it's going? Now the reducer. Create a new reducer down here. So let's go ahead and copy this. We're not making a user reducer anymore. We are going to be using, call it JSON reducer, all right? And we're not getting the name, we're getting get JSON action, all right? And we are returning that at JSON. Boom, that looks good. And one more thing, comma and JSON. And the name of that uh, reducer is JSON reducer. And, oh, we didn't change the name here. Let's call it JSON. Okay. JSON. We, actually, we did need to change that. We, here, we need to call it state just like this one right here state json okay we're done so you guys see the flow here so each new screen you can follow this flow and it keeps it really simple and understandable okay we are done with the redux part for this now we need to do the view let's let's make let's view the redux so to do that we're just going to make the cv so save name we're going to use that same type of class. We're going to use that same kind of functionality. So we're just going to copy this, save name. And um, let's just go ahead and let's put it right there. What am I doing? Makes this life, makes life easier. Save name. We're going to call this save JSON. All right. Save JSON. Copy this, save JSON. Um, we don't need the text here. See, we have the text form. We don't want that. We're, not, we're just going to use the button, basically. And then that button, we're going to navigate to view JSON. We haven't created it yet, but let's go ahead and name it now. View JSON. And need this either. Bye-bye. Okay, that looks good. So far, so good. Yep, cool. So we take save JSON, and we go up to the routes. And so for the home, paste it right in there, save JSON, okay? Fire up the emulator and hit restart right here. 
do JSON, we get an error because we haven't made that view yet. Let's just fix that just by commenting out. Save. Refresh. Okay, so that's what we want. We want to be able to save. We're well, not saving name, saving JSON. Okay, save. Okay, there's no function here. That means it doesn't do anything. Just press the button and nothing happens. So what we want to do is take that function from down, way down here. I think it was called like fetch photos. Yeah, fetch photos. There's an example. If you search, just defer, search and grab this. And then we're going to use that. That's basically a function to run, to grab the API. And so we're going to go ahead and paste that right in here on top, the navigator. So, boom. Hey, there you go. Save that. All right, let's run a little quick test. So when I hit save JSON, and you see in the print function that it calls it. Great, awesome, that works. We create the view, right? We want to see it. And we're just going to take the example that we have created before, which was view something, view, let's see, let's find that, view name. Yeah, it's down here. There it is. We're just going to copy that. View Redux. And we'll paste it right under the other app, the other class. And you Redux JSON. So this is why you organize files, right? But this is just for education, so people can understand a lot more easily when things are right there instead of in different uh, directories. And you can just see everything. OK. Um, name into view JSON. So if you use VS Code and you hit Command F and then hit this little tab, you can do a replace. And so we're going to call this view JSON. Hit enter, 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 and enter. Okay, don't replace this one. Okay, go back up here. Okay, we got what we need now. We got our view JSON. A view, sorry, view JSON. Yeah. And so now, right here, we want to um, uncomment that, right? Since we have it now, see, no more error. And go down again. And you see here that it's giving the state name, but we are calling the state JSON, right? That's what we named it. Save, and now let's test it out. But make sure you do a restart, because just in case. Okay, save JSON. And it's not navigating, right? That's a problem. Error, guys. So it says for the route uh, slash route the home property if non null is used. Okay, so I'm not I'm not sure what that means, but I'm gonna go check out where the issue is and see what's going on. Oh, so we didn't add the route, so we don't even have it. So let's copy this and add the route. And the route name was view. Come on, JSON. Okay, and place that. And this is not git name action. This was we named it git JSON action right there. Okay, save. Okay, now we change the state, so make sure you do a restart. Fire this up. Save JSON. Boom. All of that is coming from Redux. All right, so. That's state management, baby. And so obviously we want, you don't want to display a JSON text string to the user. You want to use the Flutter Builder and you know, make it look nice, render a nice looking thing like we saw earlier, which you can do, like all the code is there. But we're not working with this API right now. We're not working with this photo API. We're working with the uh, GitHub API. That's our goal. So let's get that uh, GitHub API and the browser API. There it is. And let's find that HTTP. There it is. Let's change that URL. Okay, cool. Now let's check, make sure everything is good. Make sure that API works. Save. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely a different API. Cool. 
we clearly don't just want to display a JSON string text to the user. So let's pick out some things that we want to display from this JSON and display it to the user. So to do that, we need to decode this JSON. So right now the JSON is in a string. Remember we set set string and saved it. And so we saved it as a string. So right now we need to basically set it. So get string and then decode it before sending it to get JSON action, right? Before dispatching it. So we need to decode it. So decode is an example down here. Basically, yeah, decode parse. Just copy this and go back up to here. No, where is it? Uh, there you go. Paste that in. And so what goes in here? The JSON, right? That's what we're trying to decode and parsed. And so we are now sending a parsed JSON to the dispatch. So the, you will get to work with a parsed JSON and not a string. And now we go back up to the view. So here it is. This is what's being displayed. Now, let's say, so this is in an array. So to get the first element, hit zero. And then we need to uh, do this. Let's go for the ID, All right, ID. Save that, check. There it is. There's the ID. Now, we want to display more than that, right? So let's do this. Click center, hit the light bulb, and wrap with a column. And copy this, paste. Now let's pick another thing. Let's say name, there you go. So it displays a name, copy, paste, or save. And then, so your algorithm to recode camp. And Again, let's pick one more thing. It's full name. Hey, copy, paste. Okay, save. And now we have stuff that we want to display. Guys, that's it. If you got something out of it, smash the like button. And I will see you in the next video.